Hey, Ben. You good? Yeah. Okay. Good morning, everyone. So it is time for a new vlog. It is Saturday, which means I have the day off. Thank God. And I am sitting outside. It's not nearly as sunny or warm as I'd hoped it would be, but I keep getting told that it will clear up eventually. But yeah, so today I definitely have some reading plans. And I'll just tell you guys what they are. So I have two books. I have my Hardwell Wonderland and the End of the World for the Murakami Marathon, which I should be reading because this is a vlog for the Murakami Marathon, but I really want to read Recursion by Blake Crouch because I haven't read anything for the past two days besides the audiobook that I finished yesterday. I gave it like two stars so I didn't really talk about it, but I really just want to read this and so I might, I might read this until I'm like satisfied and then who knows that might literally be the end of the book but um and then I will go into this when I'm in the mood honestly I'm just not super in a reading mood um I'm definitely on like the side of the argument that I really don't think reading slumps are like a thing it's just like right now I don't feel like reading I feel like doing other things which sucks because it's in the middle of my readathon I've been having a lot of fun talking to people and it's lucky that I've already read all of the Murakami books obviously but I really wanted to read more but so my priority for the rest of the week is to finish this and south of the border west of the sun I'm not gonna kill myself over trying to read wild sheep chase like I had in my tbr if I get to it, I get to it, but I'm not going to stress myself too much because, honestly, just I'm not super in a reading mood right now. And I don't want to push myself to read something that I don't want to read because that would just make it worse. So yeah, today I'm going to be reading Recursion and then hopefully reading at least a good little chunk of this. Because again, it's Saturday, have the day off. I have Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off. So between those three days, I will definitely finish this. But today, I just really want to read Recursion. I'm kind of thinking if I just finish this, then I will be satisfied and want to continue with my Murakami books but right now all I want to read is this book so Murakami Marathon plus Blake Crouch Welcome to inside where my hair is still a mess um but yeah I literally could not sit outside and read because it is so fucking windy it's ridiculous so plus I'm still I just am not in a reading mood right now I'm just really really not so I am taking the L and getting my books on audiobook my Scribd subscription service like finally came back because Scribd is monthly but it really only gives you couple uh, audiobooks a month not unlimited like they advertise because they suck but whatever I have to use it because I don't get audiobooks from my library very easily so <laughs> whatever but I saw that they have recursion on there and they have hardboiled wonderland so I'm just taking the L and I'm gonna listen to them on audio because again I am I'm really really tired I didn't get that much sleep last night I only got like maybe six seven hours because of course I wanted to stay up a little late because it was Friday night and then my parents woke me up at like 7 a.m so <laughs> it's great um but I really just want to read recursion but I'm really just I don't want to read with my face right now audiobooks are awesome I love audiobooks I love them especially for times like this so I'm going to listen to the audio of recursion hopefully finish it and then listen to hard world wonderland but also have the book with me i don't think i'm gonna do as much annotating as i did like the first little bit like literally having a sticky note every other page but i will have all my stuff with me so i can like annotate and write as i hear something but we'll see how far i get and stuff it's like two o'clock in the afternoon already because i was literally waiting for the wind <laughs> to stop for so long for like an hour and a half and it just it's not stopping so we're giving up it's fine Alright, so since I'm just going to be listening to an audiobook for quite a little while, I actually think I'm going to work on my bullet journal because I got this bullet journal from Clever Fox, who I'm going to be working with in a video in a little while, but I want to use it for a while before I talk about it. So I'm going to be transferring some stuff from my old bullet journal into this one so I can use this for the rest of 
the year and also the month. Um, Cause yeah, this bullet journal I have isn't an actual bullet journal. It's just like a lined journal and it is almost full. Like I'll be done with it in, if I kept using it, I'd be done with it in like a month or two. So I'm going to transfer some stuff into the Clever Fox one and use this one for a while. So listening to an audiobook for a while seems like a good time to do this. Hey, Benny boy. Hey, Benny boy. Is someone outside? Is someone outside? Okay, but yes, I'm gonna have like a time lapse of me working on my bullet journal. <laughs> Yeah, I would too. Hello everyone, I'm back. It is about 5.30 and I just finished listening to Recursion by Blake Crouch. I know this is a Murakami video, but I give this a 4.25 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I, or maybe a 4.5. I'd say a 4.5. More than a 4.25. And, I mean, Blake Crouch did it again. He does not let me down. I didn't like it as much as Dark Matter, but I thought this was great. And honestly, I'm not in a super reading mood right now. So I feel like if I had read this, like, when I was really, like, wanting to read, like, literally a week ago, I would have liked it a lot more. But even still, I love this. And I feel like it's going to be something I think about forever, just like Dark Matter. So really, really enjoyed this. And if you guys were hesitant about it, I definitely recommend it. I thought it was so cool and it is such a hard book to explain. So just read the synopsis if you're interested. But anyways, I did set up my bullet journal. So I figured I would show you guys it. First up, this is my first time using like dotted pages. And I must say, I take it took some getting used to, and some things I really like about it, and some things I don't, because some a lot of the time I feel like I need to like stay within the dots, and then it comes out like way too small, like here. So I'm like, I kind of want to redo that, but then also I don't, don't want to ruin it. But yeah, I thought that this was a lot of fun. Some things, some things take some getting used to, like again. That came out way too small, but I just kind of have to play with it a little bit. But I did make my Murakami bingo board, which is something I haven't really talked about since the beginning of the readathon. So I figured I would show you guys my bingo board so far. All right, so here is my bingo board. I kind of had to make it this way, but these are all of the different things that were on the bingo board. I just didn't draw any little art like it has because I suck at art. Um, but yeah, basically I wrote down the bingo space and then made a little box to be able to put each of the colors in because I'm tracking each book but also like my bingo book and then I assigned a color to each of the books so like this and right now I have two bingos I have a one of a combination of all of the books that I'm reading so far and then I have a fully after dark bingo so I am interested to see if I can fill up the whole board, but I am kind of like, oh crap, which ones have certain things? Because I feel like there hasn't been as much cats as usual, and, I'm kind of, and I've kind of been like, what one has speaking to cats besides coffee on the shore? I also have not had a precocious teenager yet, which is shocking, and cooking. I'm like, those are ones I always thought of just like quintessential Murakami, and I have not encountered them yet, nor have I gotten a history flashback, which now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like is only in Wind a Bird and Killing Commendatory. I also am like, this one is very like subjective, the feeling of being followed, so I'm like, I might have gotten that so far, but it's not just like straight up like, I felt like I was being followed. So, but yeah, I feel like Vanishing Cats, Speaking to Cats and Cats, like, just has not come up very often. Like, the cats in these two books that I marked were not a very big part of it, which is weird, because I always think of Murakami as cats. 
But yeah, so I'm glad I got this set up. Um, I am still working on transferring a couple of things over into this, but yeah, I'm happy I did that and it was a fun little activity to do while I listened to my audiobook. But now, kind of like I've been saying, I'm like just really not in a reading mood and it really sucks because I have been planning this readathon and looking forward to this readathon for weeks. I think I thought of this marathon or readathon back in April. So it's like I've been working so hard <laughs> to get ready for this readathon and it just sucks so much that it starts and I'm just not in a reading mood. Like I it, at the beginning of it I was like yes let's do this and literally just over the past like two or three days I just I think it's a combination of the fact that I'm very tired. I'm exhausted. I haven't been sleeping enough. I have to get up really early for work and then also on the weekends my parents keep waking me up. <laughs> And so I'm really tired and also I totally get like, I feel like a lot of people get winter depression. I get summer depression so bad. I just get into like a slump of life in the summer where I just have no motivation to do anything and it really sucks and I feel like I'm kind of falling into that right now where I just have no motivation to do literally anything. So it's kind of like, I do want to be reading like, I want to be, re like, I've been looking forward to recursion for months. It's like one of my most anticipated books of the year. And I want to read Murakami. He's my favorite author. But like, it definitely is feeling like a chore right now. And I do feel like next week, I'm just not going to get to read very much at all. So I don't know. I'm just like, I don't know what I should do because I just don't feel like reading. And I don't know. I feel like working now has definitely and why having to wake up so early and commute and stuff has really taken a lot out of me and i also just want my weekends to be like very chill and just like relaxing and sometimes reading can definitely feel like a bit of a chore but i'm gonna see how i feel tomorrow and hopefully read hardboiled one of the end, in the end of the world it definitely felt good to finish this book because this was definitely like just 100 percent on my mind every time i picked up a Murakami book for the last like week I just wanted to be reading this so I am happy I finished this so maybe that'll give me a little bit more motivation to read Murakami but yeah I figured I would really quickly talk about the discussion question of day which I came up with because of the fact that I haven't read in the past couple of days and I'm feeling kind of like quote unquote slumpy again I already mentioned I don't really think reading some sort of thing I think you're allowed to have multiple interests and just not read for a couple days or a week it's fine. It's really not a big deal. You don't have to talk about like it's a disease. But I have been feeling kind of slumpy. And so the question was, what is your perfect readathon length? So, you know, do you prefer 24 hours? Do you prefer one week, two weeks, a month, or anything in between? I saw a lot of people, especially in the Instagram group chat, saying that they love 24 hour readathons. And a lot of people on Twitter were saying that they really like one week or 24 hours. And I personally think I'm between like one and two weeks because I think one week is like the perfect length. But also one person and I were having a conversation on Twitter about this that I want to complete all of the challenges. And sometimes in one week, I can't read seven books. Like sometimes I can. But sometimes I just simply can't. I'm a working person. I'm a full-time student. So like sometimes one week readathons just aren't enough to complete the readathon, which is the point kind of thing. I know reading challenges are just supposed to be fun, but like if you're like me, you like completing things. You're a completionist, like, you know? So I feel like one week can be kind of short unless it's like a really, really chill readathon where it's like two or three reading challenges, but most have like seven, which seems ridiculous to me. Um, and then two weeks feels a little bit long because I definitely do think I burn myself out a little bit with readathons, I'm not gonna lie, um, because I just read everything all at once. And so I feel like two weeks can feel a little bit long, but also if you're smart and you pace yourself, there, it's a perfect length because it gives you a couple days to slack off and not read or read only a couple pages or whatever but also gives you enough time to complete all of the challenges and that's why I did two weeks because I felt like Murakami was a little bit intimidating to try to read in one week um, especially because I did have five reading challenges so I felt like two weeks was really good for this one but of course right now I don't want to read and I'm kind of like if this wasn't my own readathon I don't know if I would continue reading for the second week when I'm just doing a readathon I would just 
stop because <laughs> again I don't really like pushing myself with reading because reading is supposed to be a hobby it's supposed to be fun and enjoyable and sometimes I just don't want to do it. But of course I am going to be trying to continue reading because it is my readathon and everyone has been so so nice and it's been so much fun talking to everyone in the comments of my videos but also on Twitter and Instagram just about our thoughts on the books because that's my favorite part about being a booktuber and a book reviewer and especially with Mark Kami's. I love talking about theories and discussions and stuff like that. So I will be continuing reading obviously for the next week and hopefully tomorrow and Monday I would I feel a little bit more inspired to read and I'm able to finish Hard Boiled Wonderland and The End of the World. But for today I think this is all I'm going to have for the vlog for today. Um, again I do think I will have a daily vlog for the next two days. I think the four days that I work I'm just gonna put into one vlog because it just it was a lot to try to get daily vlogs out of that. So um, We'll be getting daily vlogs for the weekend, but then one vlog for like the four days that I work and then a daily vlog on the last day where I will be announcing the giveaway winner and all of that kind of stuff and wrapping up what I read. But yeah, anyways, again, I hope you guys all enjoyed this vlog and definitely tell me down below about the question of the day. What is your perfect readathon like? And also, just kind of adding to this, what's your favorite readathon like topic? Because I participated in a lot of them. Like this one is author specific, like we're reading Hercule Murakami, but like some are themed like, you know, summer or like Tom Topla is reading big books and stuff like that. Um, what kind of readathons are your favorite? I think just like very, very unstructured ones are my favorite if I'm completely honest. I say as I made an author specific readathon. I feel like ones that it just like challenges, read whatever you want that fits the challenges are my favorite just because like I kind of mentioned I think in my first vlog or second vlog I am a person who I think the reason I don't get burnout that easily with books or like a reading slump is because I keep my reading so diverse and different um so reading like the same type of thing for a week or two just is like a lot for me kind of like there's like romance readathons like what the smutathon and stuff and it's like just reading romance books for a week I would like I would die like that's too that is too many books to read that are all very similar and they'd all kind of just start like meshing together not my thing so I think my favorite ones are like a week long just anything you want to read read it kind of readathons yeah I'd love to hear what you guys have to say for this discussion question and I will see you guys all tomorrow with a new vlog anyways I love you all and I'll see y'all soon bye